Hi, I'm Jack Barnett and I'm the PR and Digital Marketing Manager for Olpro. I'm here today to share a few slides on visual marketing and why it's so important for you and your business on behalf of Gramercy. So for those that haven't heard of Olpro before, Olpro is short for Outdoor Leisure Products. We sell a whole wide range of products that help to enhance the outdoor experience, predominantly around camping. You can see on screen there, we sell tents, melamine, accessories, bin breaks, awnings. We sell everything on screen there apart from the dog and the food. So why is visual marketing so important for you? Connecting with your audience, obviously visual marketing is the first thing your customers will notice. Um, so it's important that you make sure you make that first impression really well. When people hear information, they're likely to remember only 10% of that information three days later. However, if a relevant image is paired with that same information, people retained 65% of the information three days later. So before we dive into the tactics of visual marketing, it's important to understand who is your audience. So I've just taken two quick, simple screenshots from Google Analytics there. You can see that analytics will help break down your audience in terms of gender split, also the age range as well. So you can see all pro stats there on the screen. We've actually got quite an even split in both counts. But what Google Analytics can also tell you about is your audience's interests. So down at the bottom there, funnily enough, you can see that lifestyle and hobbies, um, outdoor enthusiasts is second on the list, even though you'd expect that to be top. But actually what is top is food and dining and cooking enthusiasts. So a simple example of how we would use that information when we're selling melamine, instead of having it as an empty plate or an empty bowl, would include photos that include a bit of food on it just to get the interest of those foodies. And of course, it's important not just to react to your own audience's behavior, but also the behavior of the industry as a, as a whole. So one way that we do this is using Google Trends. You can see another screenshot there where we've defined which search terms we want to analyze, who are using those search terms and what time of the year they're using it. So as you'd expect, we've all probably been an outdoor company. It's a seasonal trend for us. Obviously, there's a lot more interest in going camping and going outdoors during the warmer months and the summer months of the year. So you can see that trend there. But the date range is actually set to uh, the COVID time scale. So you can see that despite two person tents and family tents having a, a normal seasonal trend, the festival tent has been um, low in interest since the start of COVID, as you'd expect. But interestingly, if you swap that graph, which is currently set to uh, US information, if you swap that to UK information, then festival tents has just spiked because uh, we've seen Reading and Leeds Festival have confirmed that well, they're likely to go ahead this summer. So it's interesting how these changes take place in different markets as well. So it's something to consider. I think what's really important to visual marketing is product innovation. Um, something that Olpro has done from the very get-go is one of the reasons why the company stands out from its competitors, but it's also really helpful in terms of visual marketing. So understanding what products are out there amongst your competitors, what services are out there is really important so that you can stand out and ideally make that visual marketing stand out as well. So the one example I've got on screen here is the wrap camper van awning. It's just four different images on screen there, but each one of them gets such a high level of engagement from our audience because the industry recognizes that this is a product that has no other. It's, it's quite unique for its market. So it does actually get quite a lot of excitement amongst our audience. And so much so that it has got on us noticed by the likes of Joe Swash, <laughs> which sounds quite funny, but you know, when, the likes of Joe Swash and other celebrities are recognizing your, your uh, products with half a million followers on their accounts, you know, compliments, retweets, shares, they all really do help in terms of your marketing. But it's important not just to innovate within your product development, but also within your marketing as well. So one example of what we did last year was to include a new augmented reality feature for products. This is simply just a link to a website called size.link where you input your dimensions of each product and essentially it allows you to see your products in 
real time in, in your local surroundings through your phone. So as a functional point of view, this allowed our customers to see whether products fitted in their garden, for example, during lockdowns when there was a, a trend last year of people going camping in their garden. So it did serve a kind of visual marketing purpose, but also a, a functional purpose as well. And we saw a lot more sales as a result of that. It's also important to collaborate as well. So on screen at the top there, I've just got three of our 21 brand ambassadors. Uh, at the, on the left there, you can see Emma Witherford, who's an under 21 Team GB kayaker. But by working with her as a brand ambassador, using the visual marketing, and the images that she's got with our products, we were able to attract the attention of Extreme Sports Channel. And with them, we launched a global competition, which in the end was just a product giveaway with uh, a view to sharing posts on social media. And it was won by somebody in South Africa in the end. So it was a, a far reaching competition that just came about through collaborating with one person. In the middle there, you can see Steve Stay. Um, he's a professional photographer. So as you'd expect, he's able to take some fantastic photography, but I think working with photographers, it enables you to get photographs that you wouldn't normally take in a product shoot, for example, they can be quite clean, they can be quite clinical, but uh, the bottom middle picture there, you can see is a, a really nice photo and really helped our image delivery for sure. And then on the right there, we've got John Blackmore. So I included John because I remember just as I joined All Pro, it was in my first month. I'm still getting to learn bits and pieces about our products, but John put together a YouTube video that was so so thorough and so detailed and full of technical advice and knowledge that I ended up learning quite a lot more about my own products <laughs> through him. And then also we encourage customer content. So on screen there we've got the all pro customer made calendar this was another competition where we encourage people from across the world essentially to submit their photos of all pro products so on the screen there you can see at the top right corner we've got one of our shade canopies in the german woodlands and then in the bottom right corner we've got one of our hiking tents in a location just before the swiss alps so again a far-reaching collaboration a competition that helped us to really improve our image library especially in terms of international marketing and long story short we shortlisted 24 photos that we allowed our customers to vote on and the photos that got the most votes were then included in a, a calendar which raised money for make a wish and you can see on the left there that we were able to raise 257 pounds as well so a very worthwhile process. So just as a quick conclusion to this presentation, obviously understand who your audience is, understand what it is that they want to see, innovate your products and services, innovate the way that you market that um, those products and services. Also encourage customer made content because it's what people like to see. They like to see how other people interact with your business and just ensure that all of your content follows your brand guidelines so that you get that recognizable first look at your business.